We are going to be doing an open tarot session today. So let me tell you about this. Okay, so this has never happened to me before. This was a first. It was actually a day of first. So it started with an, an old querent of mine. I've done many readings with them. They actually had someone reach out to me. They had gotten locked up and they needed a reading. So I've never been reached out to from like in jail for a reading. So that was a first. And then my son came up to me and what he actually wanted to know was, hey, can you help me make like the ant, like an ant deterrent? And, but what he said was, can you help me make some poison? <laughs> so I'm like, all in one day, I have been reached out to for a jail reading and to make poison. And I'm like, something is weird about this day and I dig it. <laughs> so whenever you have a conversation with the tarot, because I do like to teach when I do readings, essentially without having the spread, anything could come out. All right. And I don't believe in reading without a spread. And I don't believe in reading without a good question because it's kind of like answering a phone call from a number you don't know it's probably a spam collector it probably has nothing to do with what's going on who knows who you're getting a hold of so I don't really recommend doing this style of reading very often but I feel confident doing it in this case because I don't have a question I just know that they are in need of a reading and so I don't know what spread to give and I don't know what to ask so conversation with the tarot now, I've already shuffled so the first card I'm gonna get is going to be essentially what this message is about um, because I feel like whatever comes through is just going to be what they're needing to hear in this moment. So what do we got here? This is the world. And it's in reverse. Now I picked the Crystal Power Tarot deck because it has affirmations. And I don't know, it just was calling to me. So I always go with the deck that kind of screams out. Um, I celebrate life and welcome new energy. Titanium Quartz is the uh, crystal for this. I don't have Titanium Quartz. I have an Angel Aura Quartz. And it does look kind of similar. Um, so the message essentially is about like... What, you feel like the world is over? You feel like your world is flipped upside down? You feel like you weren't able to complete something you were trying to do? Um, I'm getting very much like, you know, ghosts. Like they say they have unfinished business. I'm kind of getting a vibe like that. Like your soul is like, no, my business isn't finished. What's going on here? Okay, so I'm going to set that card to the side and I'm going to pull, I guess I'm going to pull three more. I want to get a past, present, future. So... The Knight of Pentacles is coming out. I deserve financial security. It's an affirmation. Uh, so that's the past. The present would be Five of Swords. I will heal myself. The Five of Swords is kind of a rough card in the Swords. The Swords is a rough suit in general. But on the Rider White Smith deck, you see someone that has just disarmed their opponents. And they're kind of looking smug. Their opponents are walking away kind of defeated. It's essentially about you won, but at what cost? And so I'm kind of gathering that you're feeling like you've been disarmed. Okay, but the affirmation, like I said, is I will heal myself. So whatever is happening right now is happening so you can heal parts of you. Future, we've got the Page of Wands. It did come out reverse. Now, I will say this deck doesn't offer reversals in the guidebook, but I tend to I tend to still acknowledge what direction the cards came out in. So the affirmation is I'm always open to good news. The pages are going to be like our children of the suits. The wands is our fire suit. So this is going to be like a child that is very excited to play with their Legos or something, you know what I mean? Like you're brimming with the excitement to do it, but you don't quite have the knowledge or skill set or even life experience to succeed in this, not in general, not altogether, but at this moment. Um, like what I'm kind of picking up on is you think that you're there, but you're not. There's just some stuff that you aren't quite sure of yet. Um, and I don't even think you know what those things are. I think they will present themselves over time. So, so far what I'm seeing, it looks like this probably has something to do with you were trying to make it come up with some money or something like that, or I don't know. I don't know exactly what this is saying. Sometimes the reader doesn't know what's going on, especially when there's not a question being asked, but I like the message essentially is that you made the move a little too soon and that is the key takeaway here. So in lieu of that knowledge, I've pulled out the Fable Makers Tarot. This deck, whenever I interviewed it, it told me that it specializes in letting you know why something didn't work out. And I just feel like if we're making moves too soon and we're, you know, not sure why, let's figure it out. Got to give this one a good old shuffle. This is kind of hard to shuffle because the cards, look how thick this deck is. And it's, it's an animated tarot deck, so it's multi-layered so that it can move. Like, look at the cards. Oh my gosh, the world came out. Remember, that was the theme. But look how beautiful these. I love them. I absolutely adore them. But you have to be really careful in the shuffle. Well, maybe you don't. Maybe I'm just being careful. I'd love to know if, what other people have to say about this deck. Like, are they careful with their cards? Okay. So what I'm going to get here is, I guess I'm going to pull a Celtic. All right, I'm going to put the cards down. I'll be back.
Just kidding. I'm just going to pull him on screen. I don't know why I said I'll be back. Okay, so this covers him. This crosses him. This crowns him. This is beneath him. This is behind him. This is before him. Himself, his house, his hopes and fears, and what is to come. Okay. So whenever I pull a Celtic, it usually takes me a few minutes to work through it, and I feel like that's not really the best of content, but I'm still I'm going to do it anyway, because this isn't really a reading for content. This is a reading for Aquarius. So what crosses you right now is the Three of Swords reversed. You're feeling There's definitely like major betrayal feelings going on here. Um, what the obstacle that you're having is this Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups was actually in that original spread, the original Celtic that I did. So I'm going to put a picture, I, I can't look at the picture and record, but I'm going to put a picture up in the editing so that we can see what I'm talking about here. So just bear with me if I'm, you know, maybe wrong on where the card placement was, I'll, I'll fix in the edits. Okay, so what crosses you is this Knight of Cups, and that was what was in the past in that Celtic. So this is definitely something that you were doing as an offering of love. But it, I guess it just didn't work out. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, so what crowned you is the three of coins in reverse. This is a card of like working together. But whenever it's in reverse, it's kind of about like essentially either your voice is not being heard or you're not listening to the voices that are speaking to you. So somewhere along the line, there is a break in teamwork and in communication and collaboration. Something went astray from the plans. Like if, Like what I'm kind of picking up on is like there was a group of people and someone messed up. And so the whole thing crumbled. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, what is beneath you is the four of coins. And there's a lot of reversals in this reading. So this is also reversed. What's beneath you. So this is like your subconscious level of what you think is going on as you were trying to get some stability going. Um, but whenever the card is reversed, it's like to say that you were not being greedy, but like money is meant to be spent. It's a currency. It's supposed to be fluctuating out there. And if we hoard it, it can actually lead to really bad places. So it almost, like what I'm kind of picking up on here is that you were trying to get your stability going via a large amount of money, but it just wasn't supposed to work out that way. I'm not quite sure why, but that's really what I'm picking up on a lot from this reading is that there was something to do with money. Okay, so... What's behind you here is the page of coins. What's in front of you is the six of wands reversed. It's saying, so in the original Celtic, it's the nine of wands, it's the six of wands. The nine of wands to me almost looks like prison bars. And I've heard that from multiple readers. And that's where I'm getting that. I think you're going to be in there for a bit. The nine of wands is a card of kind of like it's been, you've been doing something so long. It's all that you know. Um, it's a very... You've been in the craft, you know what you're doing, almost to the point you're burnt out on it, okay? And then with this card here, it's like what's ahead of you is kind of not being, not feeling proud of yourself, like shame. You feel shameful, and I don't want that for you. I don't want you to feel shameful. Um, I hope you're not feeling shameful. Now in the OG reading, what's to come is the Knight of Wands, and it is upright. Right now, in this current reading, a lot of the same cards came out with different decks. I always... I like whenever that kind of stuff happens because you can see the, to me, it's like validation. Okay, anyway, you're in the Knight of Wands currently, but it's reversed. So yourself is the Knight of Wands reversed. Once again, this is just hinting at moving too quickly without knowing everything. So the Knights are the teenagers of the suits. And you got to think how impulsive and reckless teenagers are. They think they know everything, but they actually, they don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I don't know about you and this teenager, but me, I'm like, I made really questionable decisions. What the, what the hell? Okay, so. We're in our teenage energy of the wand. So it's like a very passionate. This is the most reckless card in the deck. So essentially you were being reckless. And but according to the cards, what's to come is you kind of fixing fi fi I think I mix figuring and fixing. You're gonna fix it. You're gonna figure it out. So this is your house. This is your environment. This is your immediate influences around you. And it's the four of cups. This is a card of meditation. It's a card about missing what's in front of you. If you're in jail, I imagine that it's just saying that literally right now you're sitting around doing not shit, but meditating because what else can you do? But it's also a card of missing what is in front of you because you're so fixated on something. It's kind of like whenever you buy a yellow car and then all you see is yellow cars. It's because your brain's looking for it at that point. Your brain seeks all day long to validate what you think and feel and your opinions. So if you 
if you go out there and only look for one thing, that's all you're going to find. And this card is kind of indicating that, look, there's other things to be seen, but we got to open up to it. So this is your hopes and fears. Now, this card is to be read both upright and reversed because one's a hope, one's a fear. Now, in the original reading, it was the six of coins, if I'm not mistaken, which is a card of giving and receiving. And what I kind of picked up on was that your hopes and fears is that you were going to be able to have enough wealth to give it. And you were scared that you would be on the other end where you were needing the help. So that seems once again, pretty in alignment with the, the money aspect of this reading. But this card is bringing in a different, a different flavor to me. What I'm kind of picking up on is that your hopes and fears is that you were going to kind of be able to be a spiritual leader and break people away from traditions that weren't working and, and maybe even set up new traditions that did work. And in addition, you're scared that that's not going to happen. But with this card being out of right, what I'm picking up on is that you're not really, that fear isn't overwhelming you right now, that you're leaning more into the positive side of it. So whatever it is you're doing, you're really trying to set a stage for people. And I can tell that but we got to get that impulsiveness under control. Um, you know, yesterday I was like, I was trying to calibrate my Cricut, which is like a cutting machine. It wasn't cutting right. And I was watching a video tutorial telling me how to do it. And about halfway through it, I realized what I was doing wrong. And I almost went to go fix it and just start reprinting and recutting. And then I realized that I still had six minutes left of the video. I'd only finished it halfway. And there's probably more information if I, you know, finished it. So I went ahead and finished it and I did learn stuff. But I want, you know, like that's that impulsiveness. I wanted to just be like, oh, I got it. I'm going to go do the things. But I would have fucked myself if I hadn't watched that last six minutes because she gave me more information that I didn't know when my cut wouldn't have been correct. So I think that it's something like that that's been going on. So what's to come is the reversed King of Swords. Now, if we don't want this to be reversed, which, which we don't really, then we need to kind of flip around this Knight of Wands attitude. There is a lot to be said in this reading about having some patience, having some patience and opening yourself up to the fact that you don't know everything. And that's a harsh thing to say. And you know me, you know, I don't like to be mean, but I feel like it just kind of has to be said. We've got to slow down. We've got to get our information better, more organized and make sure that it is correct. Because if not, we're going to just be out here spewing hot air. And I respect you a lot and I don't want to see that for you. Oh my gosh, on the timer, I had one, two, two, three, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. This is a longer reading, and I feel like I'm just saying the same things over and over again, but whatever is the case, I've got you. If you need more readings, please reach out. Let me know. Um, I do consider you to be a friend, and I don't, you know, without knowing what exactly your question was, I don't know that I provided the information that you were looking for. So let me go ahead and pull you an Oracle card that can give you something from your spirit team. And then I'm going to, you know, kind of wrap this up until I hear more from you. And, you know, maybe if you were wanting to hear something different. So I'm going to give you three Oracle cards and mix them up to give you a message. But the first one is I am not a victim. This is a little red riding hood. This is Oracle of the shapeshifters. And I oftentimes will pull from this Oracle card one to see if there's deities reaching out or animals reaching out. I do see the wolf here. So perhaps the wolf is reaching out and I believe Odin had some wolves and I believe you work with Odin. So, uh, perhaps go over the Little Red Riding Hood story. See if there's some hidden gems in there that can help you in this moment. And remember that you're not a victim. Keep your power, okay? Keep your power with you. Next, I'm going to get from the Beltane, and then I'm going to get from the Seed and Sickle. When I went to split the deck, this was the card that I seen, and it kind of caught my eye. So maybe you should be doing some, you know, magic in that realm. Um, I, you can do it alone. Your girlfriend can do it alone, and you guys can... I'm, I'm sure that you guys know how to do this. I'm not going to go into it. Okay, Maiden is what came out. So this card is about like not letting yourself once again be a victim and not letting yourself fall into that Maiden in need of saving complex. You save the Maiden yourself. You save you. You figure out what needs to be done and you make sure that you do it. Demand what is yours. Stand up for yourself. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the Mandrake, which is number 50 out of the Seed and Sickle. So this card is about like the Mandrake roots. They kind of have prophetic um, vibes to them. So... I'm sorry, a little bird distracted me outside. My ADHD is right now. Um, what I'm really gathering from this card is to keep your eyes peeled, that there's going to be some prophets coming to you soon. Now, that could be coming in the form of dreams. It could be coming in the form of people talking. It could be bibliomancy. It could be scrying. Just make sure that your eyes are kind of, your eyes and ears, specifically ears is what I'm hearing, are kind of peeled for people. I think people are just going to kind of say exactly what you need to hear. 
here real soon. And maybe if you have a question or something for like one of your, like your higher self or one of your deities that you work with, or even just for the universe that I do believe right now you could ask and the answer will be given to you pretty immediately by those around you just listening in on their conversations or maybe they'll just say something, something of that nature. So remember that you're not a victim. Make sure that you keep your head held high. Know that there's people in your corner. If there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know. I love you. Got this. Stay magical.